guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to be going over the world's most famous bases the p louise bases so if you guys don't know p louise is a brand located in the uk and they have a really popping instagram but they have like pretty much the world best bases like everybody raves about them and talks about them and says their bases are the shiz so I've been waiting and contemplating and I went ahead and ordered some. So I did order um, both of their um, color packages. So they have color bases and they have regular bases for like skin tones and cut creases and stuff. So I bought one of the regular bases. This is the 15 milliliter one and it's 10 pounds. Um, that retails for about $12 in the US. Yeah, so I bought this one and I went ahead and bought the Basic Winter Collection as well as I bought the Basic Brights Collection. This one was more expensive than this one. This one comes with five different shades. So you're getting these bright shades here and then um, the Winter Collection which comes with only four shades as you can see here. So yeah, I got this look using these bases if you want to see more keep watching but before we get into this video make sure you subscribe to the channel do it because it's free and you're already here so you might as well and also make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time i upload every week we're gonna try to stick to thursdays so yeah and also Make sure you give this video a thumbs up because that's going to help me out a lot. And it's going to show me what you guys like and what you guys don't like. And make sure you comment. Leave some comments down below on anything that you might want to see me do. Whether it's a hair tutorial, a vlog, a haul from a specific site. Whatever you guys want to see, comment down below if you guys want to see anything specific. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. I don't know how crazy I look right now on camera, so let's just go ahead and get into this video. Bye! Hot boy. So, today, you guys, I'm going to be reviewing the P. Louise bases. They're pretty much the most popular bases on Instagram and they are stationed they're located whatever you want to say they're located in the UK so for all the people who live in the United States uh it's gonna be a while I went ahead and I purchased the basic um one these are like for bases for just simple looks cut creases things of that nature I bought this and these retail for 10 like what is the money like what's their money denomination I'm gonna look that up. it's called a pound so it's about 10 pounds for this um which is is 12 dollars and 18 cents to the u.s dollar so it's 12 dollars and 18 cents for the base it's the i got the 15 milliliter and this is in the sh um shade rumor two so i got this one i've used it once before um to clean up my brows and set down for a look i did like them personally i get like why they say it's like the best base but it's not like i don't know like i like it i like it trust me 12 dollars 18 cents though basically for a concealer base whatever um i think that's pretty good this reminds me of the anastasia one that i used in my last video um but this one is um cheaper than the anastasia you will have to wait a couple of days for the shipping because like i said to the u.s it took i want to say 10 or 12 days 10 or 12 days to get to me like 10 or 12 business days to get to me but i bought this and um i also bought the colored bases because i really wanted to get them i got the winter collection and i got the basic bright so this is the winter collection it comes with these four colors so you can mix these bases and you can just use them standalone i'm gonna probably use I'm going to use one or two of them. I want to use one from the Winter Collection, which you see here. And I also got the Basic Brights Collection as well. 
the oh my god i have to figure out how much these are <laughs> because i forgot to be honest they're not cheap though uh, the basic brights one this one comes with five shades and they come with like a little rubric thing at the top the packaging is very cute though i can't lie um but um it comes with like a little thing at the top to like so you can mix the colors and make your own colors they're they're kind of just reminding me of like face paint in a way but they're bases so they cover a lot of things that's one thing that i like the coverage is really nice um but i haven't tried the colored ones yet so we'll see that in this video today but like i said you're getting five different colors this sells for 48 dollars so um that one's 48 dollars and um the winter collection is 38 dollars for four of these and 48 for these $48 to the British pound is $58.97. So this will be almost about 60 bucks for this. And um, this one was $38. So, so that would make this $46.28, so about $50. So this one's about 50, 60 and this one's about $50. And then the, um, the individual bases, the 15 milliliters, which is like the normal size, they have bigger sizes on their site. I'll probably end up buying one of the bigger sizes because um, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> yeah, that's how much it costs in case you guys are wondering. They do have a palette that I'm really interested in getting. I might get that one soon because there's a lot of makeup that I wanna get, but I've bought so much makeup in the past few months and I haven't been consistent with my content. So I cannot reward myself with more makeup I need to film. So, hey, how are ya? That's what we're doing today. Thanks for participating. I know I want to incorporate the basic brights. So I've already gotten my brows done, as you can see. I think my brows look good. I think my hair looks so cute. I took my um twist down because it was just time, okay? I'm talking too much, okay? I need to get a couple tutorials done today, so excuse me if I like rush through this tutorial today. I think I'm just going to, um, I think I'm going to do like a full tutorial for you guys. I didn't put my brows in there because I just think like my brows are pretty much the same on how I do them. I want, I think I'll just do a separate, um, brow tutorial for my page. I mean for my YouTube because I haven't done one. I did a brow tutorial on my Instagram. It's on my Instagram. I think it's on my Facebook, uh, beauty page, but I'm not 100% sure. But I know I have one on my Instagram, but I need to update it because I use a couple of new things and I use a few new tactics. And I feel like my eyebrows have been coming out a thousand times better ever since I switched to using like different products and different brushes really. It's not even really different products because I'm gonna always forever use my Anastasia Pomade. Like that's the go and that's what I always like. Girl, who we'll be using today? Stop playing with me. I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place Afrique palette. Cause I haven't used this in a minute. And I like the green in there. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take Niger. Niger, it's not a place in Africa, yeah. Niger, this green color right here. We're gonna go ahead and take this and we're gonna put that in the crease. Okay, we're gonna put that in the crease. I'm gonna use my Anastasia brush, you know, the ones that come in all the palettes. I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use this side to pack it, pack in the green in my um, crease. And then I'm gonna go in and pack it on again and blend until, until I'm satisfied. Okay, so now that we've gotten that done, I'm gonna take my Morphe M507 brush and we're gonna take this and I'm going to take, um, I ain't even gonna try to say it, but we're gonna take this blue color right here and we're gonna blend out the edges of the green with this blue color. Now that we got our two colors blended in and I look crazy, so I'm gonna take the yellow. 
I'm gonna take the uh, yellow one from the bracelet. That. I'm gonna take the yellow one from the Basic Brights collection and we're just gonna squeeze a little bit on the back of her hand. I don't know if I like the consistency of this. We're gonna go ahead and cut our crease. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you all that. The one thing I will say about the color bases is they are maybe it's because this one is yellow and I put like green and blue already down but they are a little bit complex to like um get them to kind of like cover so you will have to go over it like a couple of times and by a couple I mean a few <laughs> like good times because the orange i mean the green is still like peeping through on both eyes really mind you i am gonna like put a color on top i'm gonna take the color that i'm gonna put on top i'm gonna take aya which is this yellow right here i'm gonna take aya <laughs> aya sorry and put it on top perfect and this one is like what the fuck is that <laughs> so i think i'm gonna cut another crease under this and just put like a pretty base color like i think i'm gonna use the angelique right now i'm just gonna take a makeup remover wipe and just kind of like get these colors off i'm gonna go back in with the uh regular p louise uh base shade to like really clean it up but right now i'm just kind of like just trying to take the color off i'm gonna use my rumor 2 base again and i'm just gonna go ahead and recut my crease again ah we're not we're not doing that now we're gonna go ahead and put the color that where's my brush i just had a brush so it's gonna put it on we're gonna put Angelique down where I cut the crease, okay? I had to go over it because look, I messed it up. Don't look up when you're doing this kind of cut crease, okay? So. I went and corrected my shape. I'm gonna go in with the, um, what color was it? <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with the color I could not pronounce, the blue one from the palette and then I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of like fill that in really quickly okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put some eyeliner on this I got from I want to say I got this from shop and say yes amuse and I actually like it I just like pot um eyeliners better than um liquid um liquid eyeliners are cool though like i'll never like go against them but i don't know i just like these better because just the pigmentation on them looks better it just genuinely looks better i don't know how else to say it and then i take an angled brush and I just dip the sides in there and i just go ahead and do it i'm gonna do a thick line because i want this to be like dramatic still so this is the final look i would say it's really really cute i've been trying to really go outside of my comfort zone and like do things that i haven't done before the year ends i think it's just cute it's cute it's different it's like boom i'm here but i'm not doing so too much i'm doing enough you know what i'm saying so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial this very long lengthy tutorial but i'm i'm glad i got to sit down and talk to you guys and all that fun stuff that i never really do <clears throat> y'all bear with me okay I'm, I'm trying to get back to regular programming but i'm feeling good so hopefully we 
can get back to just being how we already are on here and we can get some more subs we need to get some more subs we're at 105 subs i don't know if i mentioned it in my last video but i did notice i hit my 100 subs and i'm super super happy that i hit my 100 subs and i will be doing i will be um posting the giveaway details and all that stuff soon i'm trying to figure out the items that i want to put in the giveaway so that's why it's having a little bit of a delay and plus my consistency with posting hasn't been really really good so i didn't want the engagement for the giveaway to be really really bad because i'm also going to be posting it on instagram you know how you know you want your engagement with your giveaway post to be good and worthy that's really what i'm focusing on right now but i do need to figure out what products i'm going to put in the giveaway so if you have any suggestions or anything like that please comment down below and let me know your suggestions and yeah like i said go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you stuck through this whole video you might as well just subscribe because it's free and you've already been you've been sitting here and you've been watching okay so you might as well just go ahead and click that sub turn on those notifications and give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and leave a comment down below on anything you guys might want to see in the future overall i would say the um p louise um bases they're pretty pretty good the yellow one i didn't like it that much i feel like i don't know if it was just like the formula they used for the color because i know yellow is a tough color to deal with so it could have been that i just have all this black stuff all over my hand from this freaking eyeliner anyways i just think yellow is a tough color to deal with and um to make a really good base for it is probably difficult as well to make one but i think it did work out a little bit in my favor because it helps that yellow really pop and stay consistent in the look it did rub away once or twice but it could have been just me but the pink one that i used from the winter collection was actually pretty good i didn't have any problems with getting it on and getting it to stay and pick up and stuff like that so it could have been just because yellow like i said is a difficult color to deal with so yeah i would say the bases are good do you need them probably not the color ones if you're not going to do a lot of looks with them like if you're a person who's going to do a lot of makeup and put them to use buy it definitely i say get it but if you're a person who's not going to put it to much use and you think you just want to get it to try it i would say just buy one or the other i would buy the winter one because that one's just cheaper than the brights one but with the brights you're able to mix a lot of colors and make new colors so there's that as well but some of the colors that you can mix on there and make come in the winter collection so it's like they didn't really think about that and neither did i when i just suggested what i suggested i would recommend getting the regular bases like the skin color ones or the white ones or whatever i recommend getting those because those are really good for cutting creases i would say get them they're 12 dollars in us dollars 10 dollars in the uk you're gonna wait a little bit on shipping so i would say stock up if you do get them because you're gonna be waiting a little while and you don't want to just buy one and then love it and then end up running out of it and then ordering it and then it taking another week or a week and a half to get to you you know what i'm saying especially if you're gonna need it right away so i say stock up and get a lot i'm gonna be buying more of the regular ones the color ones i don't know i'm rambling let me just go ahead and end the video thank you guys once again so much for watching and thank you for all of the love and support and i'll see you guys next week bye